The ongoing battle between fast and smooth is one that has a lot of questions surrounding it. Almost every day, people like you click on videos titled smooth or fast building. Why? Well, it's not just because these videos are popular or fun to watch, but more because players are so interested in the difference between these two significant playstyles. Smooth builders are known for having a sort of relaxing aspect to their gameplay, whereas fast builders are known for their incredibly speedy sensitivities and building styles. Let's take a look at two of the most famous representatives for each style. The most well-known fast builder is Phase Sway, and in the other corner, we have Razor X as the smoothest. These two players are very well known for their playstyles and have risen to fame from their playstyles themselves. Phase Sway started blowing up when he was known as the fastest controller player in the world, and Razor X when he created the concept of smooth building. Now that you know who these players are and what they're known for, let's analyze both of them and compare their skills to see what makes each one of them so gosh darn good. Before we get into it, if you guys are interested in getting better at Fortnite, then click the link below to go to ProGuys.com, where you can play with the best players in the world by just clicking one button. Sign up for our membership at ProGuides, and you'll get a ton of incredible content from the best pro players like Benji and Mongrel. So if you want to compete in Fortnite, you have to check out ProGuides.com. Also, be sure to drop a like on this video to show us your support. We strive to bring you the best content available, so hit us up with that like! Alright, with all that being said, let's get into the video. First up, we have the notorious Phase Sway. Not only is he one of the most well-known players in the world, but he's also one of the fastest. Sway's ability to build just as fast as keyboard and mouse players with only a controller is unmatched. Nowhere else will you see a controller player that can crank out insanely complicated builds with speed and accuracy like him. And it doesn't just stop here. Sway is also incredibly talented at a large variety of things within Fortnite, not just building. We've seen him dominate Keemstar's Friday Fortnite in consecutive weeks to even placing in competitive events against some of the world's best players. He's definitely not just another creative warrior, and should definitely not be seen that way. But what gave him his initial rise to fame, as most of you guys know, was his incredible building speed. He could build faster than most PC players while on controller back when people could barely do 90s. So let's take a closer look at his building and really break down the well-known fast building. Taking a look at his gameplay, one of the first things we notice that really stands out is the speed at which he can pull off multiple moves at once. Sway builds and edits so fast that it's almost like he's doing it simultaneously. We can see him cranking 90s, editing ramps, walls, pyramids, floors, and just flat out building like a god. A really unique aspect of his fast building is how he can spin and turn while editing so fast that we can barely even see it without slowing it down. Okay, how does he do this? Well, it comes from a really cool feature everyone's brain has known as muscle memory. Sway spends hours a day playing Fortnite and mastering his moves in creative. Sure, he was the best player in the world at a certain point, but what kept him from falling off and staying on top was his determination and constant grinding, which made him as good as he is today. To make it simple, muscle memory gives you the ability to do things like aim and build without any hand-eye coordination, meaning that you don't have to see to be able to do what it is you're trying to do. Sway can essentially pull off the majority of his moves with his eyes closed, which is why he can build so fast that it's hard to see what he's doing. The more you play, the more you develop your muscle memory, and Sway practices every single day to make sure his muscle memory is on point. On the other hand, Razor X is less reliant on muscle memory. We'll get into how he plays later into the video, but just keep this in the back of your head for later. Looking at Sway's gameplay once again, we can see that he can do many things at once, meaning he can place two builds simultaneously without any delay. This is something keyboard and mouse players can do very well because they have so many buttons that are easily accessible with all five fingers. Sway can do this because he plays using the claw method. Claw is a controller grip that allows you to click multiple buttons without taking your thumb off of the aim button. This is crucial for players if they want to be able to build and turn fast like Sway. Luckily, there is now also the option to play with controllers that have paddles, which can allow you to play like normal with the addition of extra buttons on the back of your controller. Being able to turn and build at the same time is very important for being a fast player, so we suggest you learn claw or get paddles if you want to do so. Another really cool aspect of Sway's fast building comes with the technique. Sway isn't someone who knows three or four moves and sticks with them throughout his career. He is always learning the newest and best high ground retakes and building tricks. Besides just learning, he even creates his own, and he does so while taking into consideration his playstyle. So a lot of the moves he does aren't actually possible on slower sensitivities. This makes him very unique in his own way. 
Sway is the ability to pull out a ton of stick building moves that most of us haven't even seen before, and it's single-handedly due to how much he practices to perfect his ability. Being able to play as fast as Sway would require you to play just as much as him with the same playstyle and mindset. Sometimes while watching him, it can blow my mind how complex some of his retakes are. With pyramids, ramps, floors, and walls flying everywhere with accurate edits, it can oftentimes feel like some of the things he's doing are kind of impossible. The reason he can do these so well at the speeds at which he does it is because of how naturally he performs in Fortnite. This once again comes from his hours spent in the game practicing and grinding to keep his title as the best. In high contrast to Sway's playstyle, Razor X is a smooth operator. He doesn't prioritize incredibly fast building and editing to dominate his opponents. What he does do is perform multiple building and editing tricks consecutively at an incredibly smooth pace. Being smooth isn't the same as being slow. Razor X has mastered the ways of combining relatively quick mechanics with a flow like no other. His movements are like water as his screen is always moving at a smooth, constant velocity. Sway can be seen flicking and dashing his camera as he spins around and pulls off incredibly fast moves, but Razor X prioritizes everything but. So let's get into what makes him such a fantastic player. Starting off, the first thing that stands out about Razor's gameplay is how smooth yet efficient he builds. In no way is he slower than his opponents during build fights, but he seems like he's moving and turning a lot slower, and this is what makes him so different than the majority of players. Razor builds in a way where his building reticle in the center of the screen moves very little. This decreases the radius at which he has to move, which increases the efficiency of his turning. What I mean by efficiency is how many pieces he can place with the least amount of movement. Efficiency is what allows slow sensitivity players to keep up with players who play on very fast building sensitivities. Now, of course, being efficient alone isn't enough to make Razor X one of the best in the world. It's also due to how perfect his muscle memory speed is. If we pay close attention to Razor when he's building, we see that he goes into edit mode almost instantly after he placed an object. He even starts moving his cursor toward the movement that he needs to make for the edit that he's attempting to pull off. The low reaction time and delay in between movements like these thoughtfully make a change in the speed of his gameplay. As you guys can probably tell, speed has a lot to do with smooth gameplay as well. The difference is that speed and smooth building has to do with reaction time and how fast you can do multiple things at once, whereas speed and fast building has to do with how quickly you can turn and pull off hard building moves. In fact, building quickly has a lot to do with how showy your building moves are. As you guys can see, Razor's moves aren't very flashy, and they're mainly just effective and focused on keeping his aim towards the general direction of the enemy. This is known as pre-aiming, and is actually a technique used by the pros in tournaments and advanced play. Another very interesting aspect of Razor is that he plays on a console which has a frame rate cap of 60 frames per second. This could be a massive problem for most players, but like Sway, Razor practices and drills so much that a lot of his moves become like muscle memory. We see as many frames as possible, becomes less of a factor in the success rate of Razor's battles. Overall, pre-aiming, efficient building, and fast reaction times help make Razor X one of the most outstanding players on the controller. Now that you have a good idea of both these players, what makes them so different from each other while also allowing both to be incredibly talented? Well, to start, Sway is incredibly fast and focused on pure muscle memory and practice. Razor X, on the other hand, isn't as reliant on muscle memory, but rather more reliant on short movements and constant rotations. If we watch Razor, we can see that he's almost continually turning during build fighting, but Sway sometimes takes short pauses in between his bursts of fast building because of the fact that his fast turning speed overcompensates for not being reactive. Another major difference between the two is their sensitivity, which is a major aspect of how their gameplay looks and attributes to people's perspectives on them. Playing on relatively slow sensitivities like Razor X will result in much smoother gameplay that seems more calculated and methodical. Playing on really fast sensitivities like Sway will make the gameplay look more crazy and fast-paced, almost to the point where the moves are barely visible. When it comes to effectiveness of their playstyles, it's a bit more complicated. Both of their playstyles are effective in their own ways. Sway's playstyle can cause more confusion and throw opponents off more, whereas it can also be harder for Sway to aim well considering how fast it is and how much he turns around. Moving as much as he does can oftentimes cause you to get disoriented and lose track of opponents in general, which is one major downside to fast building. That's why sometimes you will see Sway miss some shots. Razor X, on the other hand, won't have any problem keeping track of his opponents. His smooth and accurate building will keep him oriented and well-placed, but where he might find problems is in movements where he needs to turn around or build a one-by-one -one around himself. 
Overall, they're both outstanding players with lots of talent and some small downsides. Even though pro players do have deficiencies, it still doesn't take away from the fact that phenomenal gameplay is, well, phenomenal gameplay. And while most of us struggle to even win a single scrim game, there's a lot that can be learned from these superstars. But nothing is perfect, and these two are pretty close to it, so lots of respect to them. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. We spent a lot of time doing research and making sure that it accurately shows off these two amazing players. So be sure to leave a thumbs up and comment on what your thoughts are. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.